Hello folks, Major Gosnell here, and this is going to be episode 9 of my Stationers playthrough. In this episode I'm going to be focusing on air filtration, and basically splitting up the gases that pump through your furnace, releasing oxygen into your canisters. Now, the last time you left I'd created a simple version of this, and it basically would just pump all the oxygen into the canister. However, some of the chemicals that you can smelt down will release other gases that you don't necessarily want in your oxygen tank. So this is a system that I've devised that will filter all the gases out of, well, the dangerous gases out of your oxygen supply, and then you can use those other gases for propellant and stuff like that, and later on for actually heating the base. So first thing you're going to want to do if you're designing a system is place a furnace inside of your gas room, like so. <coughs> Excuse me. Then. Be sure to connect the output pipe all along here and set up a piping system here. Then up here what you want to do is you're going to want a thing called an atmospheric unit. You can make these at the hydraulic pipe bender. And I've already set up the piping and the electrical wiring as how we need it. And I'll go through that with you in just a second. However, we're going to place down the atmospherics unit right now. So what we're going to do is there's two types of atmospherics. You have air conditioner, and if you scroll your mouse wheel, you have filtration. Now, what you want to make sure is that your pipes are facing the right way around. And because I've already set up my pipes, I know that they are. However, you want to make sure that the pipe that's connected to your furnace is going in on the input side of your filtration unit. So we're going to plonk this down like so. So this is your input side. So anything that's released from the furnace is going to pump all the way up here into your filtration unit, which you do have to switch on, remember. And you will have a filter here. Now we're just going to run over here and grab one of the filters. We are going to put oxygen, which is probably the most important one. And we're just going to slot it in here like so. All these filtration units are available on the hydraulic pipe bender as well. And there's five different types. You have oxygen, pollutant, nitrogen, filter CO2 and volatiles. There is one more water, but at the moment we don't need the water for anything I'm going to be doing, so I haven't set that one up as of yet. Now, with that all set up there, you'll notice that there's two other pipes. There's the output pipe and there's the waste pipe. <coughs> Excuse me. So, basically, what you need is for the air to come in here, it'll cycle through the oxygen filter. The oxygen that's filtered out will come out of the output tube, which is the one at the back here. That oxygen will then go down that tube, and I've rigged it up in such a way, if you look at this one here, it'll come down the tube at the back, all along here, and into this pipe system here. This is a simple valve to let the gas through. It'll come up here and into whatever gas canister you have currently stored and you can make all of these equipment parts in your hydraulic bender. Gas canister will be here, you switch it on, filter is working, and this should fill with oxygen. So, that's that one. Now we're just going to complete the rest of them. Uh, oh, I forgot the waste pipe. Mm -hmm. So, whoop. now you can just set up one at a time if you want, just have oxygen pumping out, but you can also make it so that you can filter out the other gases as well. So we're going to put a line of these in, and just make sure I put in the right one. Filtration, there we go. Now, you'll notice the waste pipe as well. This one here. Now, the waste pipe from the first one is connected into the second filtration unit. Why, you might ask? Because the waste that's coming out of here will only be missing the oxygen. So all the other gases are still technically in the system. So then that'll filter into this machine, and we're just going to put in the pollutant. So slide in the pollutant there. Just get rid of that. Oop, didn't do that hard enough. So that'll be the pollutant one. So again, the input is following along from the waste pipe here, entering into the input on this side. And the pollutants, which is this one here, will filter out down and into the gas chamber below gas canister below. And then the waste pipe will exit from here again. Another atmospherics connected up again. Oh, and I made a mistake there. I put in the wrong piece. 
So, one second. Just deconstruct. Always make sure it's filtration units that you're putting when you're doing this. And we're going to grab another filter. Do, do, do. Nitrogen. I'm going to drop the nitrogen one in here. Okay. Pick up my tools. <coughs> Five. Okay. Atmospherics. And filtration again. There we go. Just grab the last one of these. And we're going to slot that one in there. CO2. And now... Atmospherics, filtration, and that's volatiles. So, <coughs> these are your five main filters set up. Now, we don't have any power as of yet, and that's for a very simple reason. I rigged all this up, and I realized that it, it creates an inordinate drain on the actual solar panels. So, I've set up a power control unit, which is just going to be a simple switch here that we can flick on and off. However, I don't have enough batteries at the moment to power both this one and that one, so I'm going to take this one out. Switch this off. I'm going to come over here and slot that one in there like so. Now, we can power it on. So, first we're going to leave it off, and as you can see, the vent isn't switching on. Power it on, and the vent is now switching on. So, <coughs> it's just like an on-off switch, and we'll work for the filters upstairs as well. Now, the very next thing that we're going to want to make sure we have is gas canisters in all of the canister storage bays, which are here. So, grab all your gas canisters, like so. Oop, there we go. Now, now, you do have a choice here. You can use your spray paints to paint these uh, specific colors so you know which chemical is going into which one. It's all aesthetic, and I'll probably end up doing that in the end. And likewise, just labeling each one oxygen, nitrogen, etc. So, that's all rigged up very nicely there. Now, my system should be entirely airtight, and I forgot to show you one little part, which is up here. And this can go right off. I fucking hate that part now. <laughs> so... I'm just going to show you the last part of the piping here. So the last waste pipe here is entering, exiting into a passive vent. Now, ideally you want to have your passive vent outside the building, but I am in a bit of a rush today, so I just put it here for now. It doesn't really matter. If you're not in a pressurized room, don't worry about this. If you are in a pressurized room, make sure it's outside the vent. Or if you're doing some sort of weird pressurization system, then keep it inside. Now, we're just going to switch the switches on all of these. Do do. Now, just going to do a quick little test here before we actually start working all the system. So we're going to kill the power, and the power went off into filtration units, so that works very nicely. Okay. Now, with that in mind, we need to actually start producing gases. So what we're going to need is our mining belt, which is here. So we're going to take that one. And do do do. Press 5. Drop that on the ground. Because I am <coughs> very messy, as you can see. And 5 again. So we got some ores here. So what we're going to do, we are going to drop oxide in here. And if you notice here on the valve, it is building up in pressure. Now we're going to release all of these valves here like so. Do, 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 and do. Okay. Now hopefully pressure should be dropping again. It is. So that's pumping into those canisters. We're going to release another one now here. We're going to do volatiles this time. Not as much pressure. as it's filling all the piping system there. Now I do need to be careful I don't overload my... Hmm. Ah, there we go. Overload any of these canisters, because I don't have um, pressure regulators, those awful pieces there, installed on all these pipes yet. It's something I'm going to probably add at some point, just so we don't blow ourselves up. Now, we're going to kill the power here. And we are going to check these canisters. So, let's check this one down here. Now, if I'm not mistaken, this should be the oxygen. 
as far as I'm aware. So let's go into tree. Ooh, I am missing my reader. Now that is interesting. Where did I leave that? May be out here somewhere. Hmm. I have misplaced my electronics reader. Oh no, that is a bother. Hmm. Where in the name of bloody Christ have I left that thing now? Just gonna check my other belt, see if I haven't accidentally put it in there. I have not. Huh. So now we have a small problem. I'm missing my electronics reader, which I actually need to complete this. Hmm. However, <coughs> I'm going to show you a little nifty thing I've discovered as well. I accidentally left my channel on... Uh, sorry, my, <laughs> my channel. My game on open, so people were able to join me yesterday. And people who joined and then left, their bodies remained, and when they died, they dropped all their stuff. So, we may actually have a spare reader. We do. So, ah, I am literally zombifying parts here. So this was from a player who joined, who left and then the body decomposed and you get all of his stuff. So that has actually saved me a little bit of bother. Okay, and tree again. So we're gonna need that. E. Okay, let's get out of this hole anyway. So that is actually <laughs> a bit of a blessing in disguise there. I would have been screwed otherwise. So let's run all the way back over to the base over here. Do 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 do. Okay, now, I'm just going to run in here, press E, uh, nope, drop that, okay, E here, or E, that's in there, okay, and oh, so, as you can see here in the nitrogen canister, we have 129 PA. It's not a lot of pressure, but the items that are smelting, there wouldn't be a lot there. However, we are going to put that away. Put this one back in here. Like so. Oop. No, that's somebody... Oh, that's the guy's canister that I picked up. Picked up. So this is the one that we wanted to check. Hmm. So here we have 467 kPa. And as the temperature goes up, down, the gas contracts a little bit. So, because gases expand when they're heated. Now, this should be the oxygen canister here, and there should be a hell of a lot more. There is. We're going to pick up the handheld tablet here, and let's check this. 100% oxygen, 2.89 kPa, MPa. So, that is very, very nice. Now, that should be full of pure oxygen, which is breathable. So, oh, no. I'm going to be a clean workman. Don't want to lose another one of these. <laughs> So we're going to put this down here, and we're going to put all this over here. And that is effectively how you filter your gases. Oh, we got 5,000 on this one. What is this, I wonder? O2, 69%. H2, 31%. Hmm. So what filter did we have in the very last machine, I wonder?
volatiles. So that one is acting a little strange now. So I would have thought that the O2... Hmm. That's interesting. We're just going to check this one here as well. Uh, this one is only CO2. So it may have been that there was already something in this canister. It may have been my old air canister. And that would explain why there is 69%... O2 and 31% H2, because H2 would be water, which we don't have the filter for yet. So technically you don't even need the, the water filter, because that would only be the one, last one left over. So five filters will work, and whatever's over is the sixth chemical. Huh. That is very interesting now. I'm imagining that's where the issue was, though. Do we have any more... Um, any more ice in my mining belt, I wonder. you have a mining belt? Do you... No, not here. Grief, I've lost my mining belt now. <laughs> this is good. Oh, there we go. So, just gonna see if we have any more ice. Five. We do. So, right, what we're gonna do is we're gonna empty all these first. So, gonna put all these back down. That should be nearly empty. Oop, you have to reopen it every time you pick it up, I see. Okay, and that should be nearly there. Takes a couple of seconds for it to empty fully. Okay, so let's check this down here. And I need my other tool belt again. See if we can empty this one properly. There's two PA. Ah, because the water won't actually empty from that, I don't think. Only the O2 will. So, what we're gonna do... Let's check this one here. As we've opened the valve, I think other gases are seeping back in, possibly on that. Oh, that's strange. They both have the same readings. Hmm. That's nitrogen there. Okay. Now nitrogen is useful for your jetpack. Just gonna do a little test here. Hmm. Okay, so there's zero KPA in that one. Zero KPA in that. Back over here. <coughs> and now we're gonna chuck in some more D's. So E. Oh no, actually, E. Put that in there. E again. Five. E and five. Right, we're gonna chuck in the volatiles this time. Uh, pressure is going up, but it should also go back down pretty rapidly, I'm imagining. Ah, there we go. Forgot to switch it on. <laughs> pressure drops, and now this should be full again. 
So, yeah, that's full again, 5,000. So we're going to go to E5, E5, F. Power low. So that's the canister. I think I was reading the wrong thing there. <coughs> so 131% of... H2O. Hmm. So maybe nothing is actually going into these canisters. That might be the issue here. Nope, that's CO2 100%. So I think this is just whatever is left over. The, um, I'm imagining it's water that's coming true. Hmm, that's something I'm going to have to look into on my next video. However, <coughs> that is the filtration system for the most part working. Just that strange one at the end. Just going to double check the oxygen tank here again. And just make sure that that actually produced oxygen. It did, 100%. So, there we go. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. And if you want free tool belts and stuff, just leave your server open on public and people will join and you get free shit. So, in the next episode I will probably start working on mixing gases again. So pretty much the opposite of what I did here. And then we're going to start the construction of my main base and pressurizing atmospherics and everything else. So thanks for watching guys, hope you're enjoying the series and if you like, please give us a like, give us a subscribe. It sure is appreciated. Thanks.